Um, it says that a couple more times. Then it says to apply oneself to. But to apply oneself to. That's very important because it ain't like you just wake up and you just know the truth, man. You got to uh, you gotta uh, get into it, man. All right? That's why it says study to show yourself approved. And that approved is, is accepted. All right? Rightly dividing the word of truth, man. It ain't like you can just read this scripture and read that scripture and know the difference, man. You got to read precept on precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, go into definitions, go into different languages, all right? Look up articles, maybe read books in, to, in order to understand all of this, man. That's, that's uh, what did it say? Giving your, applying uh, yourself? It said, yeah, to apply oneself to, uh, attach oneself to. Attach that is very important, man, because this is wisdom, man. And wisdom is what? Uh, wisdom is recognized as a woman, man. Now, we all know when we got, you know, messing with women in the world or whatever, you know, you you, you all super attached to her before you hit. But as soon as you hit, it's like, man, hi, what you doing? Uh, but before that, it was, hi, right, it's like, what you doing? Nothing, chilling with the bros. What you doing? Sexy, it was all that. Now I'm just like chilling with the bros. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> like an afterthought. Yeah, yeah. But you got to get attached to this, man. This uh, this Bible is, is recognized as wisdom, and it, it has to be your girlfriend, man. That's All right? right. It got to be your woman. <laughs> and you got to be attached to this woman, man. All right? And do what you can to please this woman, man. As, as long as she uh, uh, comforts you, man. All right? You're supposed to do the same for, for your woman, you know, that you have, your physical woman. But to a certain extent, of course. Because wisdom is going to hold you down regardless, man. As long as you hold her, her down, she going to hold you down, man. All right? Yeah, it's through the spirit that you said, uh, you know, made that connection, brother. It says, um, to hold or cleave to a person or thing, this is it right here, though, <laughs> to be given or addicted to, to devote thought and effort to. You know? Yeah, to be addicted to, man. And devote, uh, thought, de and devote thought and effort to, man. So really... Put in a, it's just more than an E for effort, man. It's actually getting that E and spelling out effort, man, to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you have to do. You got to give yourself wholly over to this, man. All right? And learn it and live it and love it, man. Because this is life. You know what I'm saying? It's the spirit that quickens. The flesh don't profit nothing, man. That's why when it comes down to it, hey, if you don't have this knowledge, you ain't going to know what the hell to do, man. You know what I'm saying? We was just having a conversation in the car. Women always know what the fuck to do when it ain't time for them to be talking, man. But as soon as you ask them to do something, tell them to do something, then they don't know what the hell is going on. Then they want to come to you, they protector and provider, the head of the house, all right? Then that's when they want to... That, that ain't fair, man. A problem arises. Yeah, a problem arises that maybe they can't handle. Bitch, I'm supposed to handle it all. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there are things that you can do. You know what I'm saying? That's why if I'm asking you to do it, then obviously I think you can handle that. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm, I'm, if we got a big problem, let me handle the bigger part. I'm going to break you off some of this Kit Kat and you handle the smaller part. You know what I'm saying? Handle yours, I handle mine. And guess what? There's a solution to that problem then, man. But they want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And that's the problem with women, man. All right? Uh, read that scripture again. You still got it? Uh, yes. Because he said, uh, basically, give yourself wholly over to, give yourself attached to, uh, be connected with, pretty much, be addicted to reading, which blessed is he that read it, so you can continue in this book, man. It's an, it's an instructional book, man. All right, just like if your TV get unprogrammed, what the hell are you going to do? You're going to go right back to the instructions. To learn to uh, figure out how to um, reprogram it, man. All right, and this is that. This is what that does. It programs you. It programs you to be righteous. Yeah. All right, and then when you forget about something, you're reading here and you get reprogrammed on that, man. But that's why you gotta continue. Just keep, just keep reading it. All right, so you don't have to be reprogrammed on it. You don't want to have to be reprogrammed repro on uh, not committing adultery. Of course, that's something you already know or something. You know what I'm saying? But. Just anything in the, in, the, in the scriptures that you've read, you're like, ooh, that's, that's, that's a nice law, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, and then you might forget about it, you know what I'm saying? When you come into the truth, man, it's, it's a new culture. You got to be immer you gotta immerse yourself in a full culture, you know what I'm saying? Dietary-wise, you know what I'm saying? You got to be reading, you got to be watching the videos, 
what I'm saying? Cause I'm pretty sure everybody came in watching the videos. You know what I'm saying? I was watching videos at night, going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? When I woke up, taking notes, going to the library. You know what I'm saying? You wanna know why? Because you wanted to get that woman, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> you wanted to get that when, woman. When you, when you see a bad woman, you go, you, you, you fervent. You know what I'm saying? You go get it. You know what I'm saying? You like it, you want it, you need it, you go get it. Yep. The salvation. We want it, we need it. <laughs> so we're going to go get it. No, you know what? <laughs> With the women, just. How, how you would devote yourself to a woman, you will, you will go marry her, eat, you know, know Esau's way. That's like like the scripture said, the most high said, bid, a, bid him to the marriage. This is the marriage that's not going to fail you. Okay. All right, because that physical marriage, Esau's marriage, you see, the majority of them motherfuckers break up, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they, 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 them is uh, um, things you devote yourself to that let you down. The truth will never let you down. Man. It'll break you down, then it'll build you up, man. I believe it's at uh, like 80% or something like that. 80% 80 of uh, marriages in the divorce yep. uh, by the woman, though. Mm -hmm. Like, all, out of 100% of divorces, 80% is the woman divorcing the man. But I bet 100% of the women want to get married, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or a fourth ready. husband or something like that. How yep. the fuck you want to? Uh, you marry four niggas? I thought third time was a try, man. Fuck all that. Like. But then, but then a bitch tell you that you're saying you can't love two people. Bitch, you'd have been married four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fell in love with four different niggas. I ain't met my soulmate. <laughs> How come I can't love both of these women at the same Ooh, time? He saw on that ice, boy. Up I was, was waiting for it to break. That's he saw it on that ice. He's right there in one of them circles. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Standing one of them thin circles. <laughs> Once you can play hopscotch in <laughs> <laughs> so, back, back in that scripture. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 13. It says, Till I come, mm -hmm. give attendance or devotion. Devotion, all right. Addiction, all right. Go ahead. To reading. To reading. Go ahead. To exhortation. Exhortation, lifting up the Most High, which is definitely His name, man. As well as your brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not, you talking shit about your brothers all the time, or got an evil eye towards them all the time, and shit. You ain't gonna go nowhere with that, man. All right. I used to expect to uh, lift your brother up if you putting him down and shit, man. And that get me thinking of the song. Uh, by Otis Red, man, uh, a change gonna come, man. Yeah. You, I forget exactly how the lyric went at the end. Uh, I probably, I'll, I'll probably have to look it up later. But it was something to that extent, man. Basically, people putting you down and, and wanting you to be up at like, come on, man. We we all here to help each other, man. All right, go ahead. Uh, to exhortation, to doctrine, to doctrine. What doctrine? What doctrine is this? Is it talking about Islam? Is it talking about Egyptology? It's talking about this, man. The gospel, the real good news. Esau can't make it and the elect will. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's what it is. America's going to be destroyed. All right? Uh, things is going to get back in order, man. All right? It's going to be a, a new covenant. A new covenant that causes you not to go off, man. All right? It says a righteous man falleth seven times, but he get back up. Why do he get back up? Because he repents, man. And he feels bad about what the fuck happened. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. You know, because you pretty much, for, you forgiven for anything except for blaspheming another spirit, man. All right? It's just all up to the most high, man. It's all up. You don't know the level of grace that he got for you. So you really don't want to test the waters, basically. That's why you're supposed to be continuing this, man. Continue uh, uh, get that addiction and read, man. This is your drug. Use it as a drug. You need a fix. Holler at the book, man. Go ahead and read. You know what I'm saying? This is what builds your spirit, man. All right? And builds your character as well. So how, this is how you going to get out of this place. Yeah, yeah. This is, Which your, is why we're reading about this the This is your basic instructions before leaving <laughs> Earth. <laughs> I had to throw it in there. <laughs> but it makes sense. That acronym does make sense, you know? Now, if only that would, yeah, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, that, that's all I want to that, but it's a pretty good read. Uh, it's, it's only uh, a few more verses left in this chapter. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is verse 14, 1 Timothy 4, 14. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, go ahead. Which was given thee by prophecy mm -hmm. with the laying, laying on of the hands of, by the presbytery. Guess who the presbyteries are? The elders. You didn't get this on your own, man. 
and, and they gave it to you through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, because you pretty much got this knowledge. That's that gift, that grace. Really, that, that gift is grace at the end of the day. All right, it can go down to your individual gift as well, but you got it through listen to the elders who follow your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, go ahead. Meditate upon these things. Meditate, go ahead. Give thyself wholly to them. That's there, and I, I knew it was in there. I didn't know if it was in this particular chapter, but I know, I, you know what I'm saying? You got to give yourself wholly to this, man. All right, because that, like the brother said, this is, this is your way to get out of here, man. This is your way to get out of here. Go ahead. Uh, give thyself holy, uh, uh, holy to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Mm -hmm. Take heed unto thyself and unto doctrine. Take heed unto yourself. All right, that's very important, man. Taking heed unto yourself is making sure you correct, man. Uh, examine thyself that you be in the faith.